So here we have Ricky and he has some stickers in a box. Now they say if he put the stickers into bags of 9, he will have no stickers left over. If he puts them into bags of 10, he will have 2 stickers left over. And they're asking you to find the smallest possible number of stickers in the box. So we have some amount of stickers. We don't know how many stickers he has. We do know that if he divides this, okay, because when we're putting stickers into bags of 9, okay, so he's splitting these up into bags and each bag will have 9, okay. We do know that the number of bags he gets, there will be no remainder, okay. No remainders of how many stickers, okay. So our remainder here is 0. So we know it divides evenly by 9. The next clue they told us is that if we divide the stickers by 10, we will have some amount of bags plus a remainder of stickers of 2. Alright, so we have 2 stickers remaining that can't fill a bag. Okay. Now, if it divides evenly by 9, we know that we are talking about a number, a multiple of 9, or a number that exists in your 9 times tables. Okay. Now, this 9 time table gives a lot of the students, a lot of students, the most trouble. Alright? So, there are two tricks you can use to work out your 9 time tables very quickly without memorizing. Okay? I'll show you one here. This one is that we start from 0. We list out the numbers from 0 all the way to 9, okay? And then we do the same thing but in reverse. So we start here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay? So we know 1 9 is 9, 2 9s are 18, and so on. Now let's look at these, these numbers here, these multiples of 9. Now we need the smallest number that when we... Okay, so we do lo no longer need to look at this because we know that our number is divisible by 9. Now let's look here. Which one of these numbers, if you put them here in this box, will give us a value? And a remainder of 2. If I divide, can I divide 9 by 10 and get a whole number? No. Okay, so 9 is out. What about if I divide 10, uh, 18? If I divide 18 by 10, what would I get? I would have 1 10 and a remainder of 8. If I divide 27 by 10, I will get 2 10s. And the remainder of 7 ones. If I divide 36 by 10, I will get 3 tens and a remainder of 6 ones. If I divide 45 by 10, I will have 4 tens and a remainder of 5. If I divide by 4, 54 by 10, I'll have 5 tens and a remainder of 4. So none of these so far is giving us a remainder of 2. Let's go again. Divide by 10. Okay, we have 6 tens and a remainder of 3. If I divide 72 by 10, I get 7 tens and a remainder of 2. Now look at this. We have some number and a remainder of 2. Now we know that 72 divided by 9, okay, is, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? So 8 nines are 72, okay? We have a remainder of 0. But if we divide by 10, so if we divide 72 by 10, 
we have 7 tenths and the remainder of 2. So the smallest possible number of stickers in the box will be 72 stickers. Okay, now your units are very important. If you have an answer like this, okay, if this is part of your question, don't just write 72, put 72 stickers, okay?